Thank you, and it is a pleasure to be here today, and particularly to, to highlight mental health. And uh, on a day like today, I think it's worth all of us uh, spending some time thinking about the people around us, uh, the cultures that we are involved in and responsible for. And I'm here particularly, and, and when I'm climbing the bridge today, I'm going to be thinking about all of my colleagues in the healthcare professions, uh, particularly uh, GPs, who are certainly at the front line of uh, prevention and of early treatment uh, and detection of mental health issues. Uh, because it's uh, where uh, a lot of people go to for help is to, is to see their general practitioner and then GPs will uh, assess the issue, in many cases uh, deal with the issues that are, are presented to them, give people strategies and tools to be able to cope with any uh, emerging mental health issues that they might have and then appropriately refer to uh, perhaps other specialised mental health care professionals and facilities. And so that's uh, one of the groups of people that I'll be thinking about today on the bridge climb. I'll also be thinking about people in uh, emergency services uh, who are quite often at the front line of crises in mental health care and, uh, and, and the great work, the wonderful work that they do. But also to be thinking about the mental health of healthcare professionals as well because that's quite often overlooked and I think it's very important that as healthcare professionals we look out for each other, that we see the signs not only in our, our patients or our clients, but in each other. The sorts of signs that we need to look out for are the, the loss of enjoyment in life, disengaging from usual social interactions, somebody expressing uh, despondency or prolonged sadness that may not be uh, consistent with their life events, somebody who is experiencing uh, workplace stress where they feel overwhelmed, where they feel unable to cope, uh, where they're having trouble sleeping, these are the sorts of issues that GPs are trained to be able to detect, but in your own workplaces and amongst your friendship groups, it's so important for you to be able to see the signs in people around you and to say, uh, to reach out, to say, you know, how are you? Would you like to, to sit down and have a chat? Is there something I can do uh, to help you? And, uh, and of course, if you are experiencing any of these issues, for you to be able to reach out to somebody else and say, look, I'm not coping so well at the moment. Uh, what can I do or what can we do together to try and overcome this? And of course, uh, when we're talking today about uh, mental health in the workplace, we all spend so much time in our respective workplaces. And for those cultures to be uh, not only responsive to potential mental health issues in the workplace, but to be proactively looking at ways of preventing mental health issues, of making it a mental health workplace culture that not only addresses uh, issues as they arise, but also is alert to the potential for those issues and establishes a culture, establishes workplace policies and, and, uh, and practices that will support positive mental health. So I think this is a great initiative today. Uh, the symbolism of climbing out of uh, uh, the darkness, of being able to elevate yourself with assistance above a mental health uh, problem, uh, out of a depression or an anxiety condition, I think is a great symbolism. And I think today is a great day for us all to be thinking about the positive impact that we can have on everybody around us, our friends, our family, and our workmates. Thank you. Thank you.